Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through deriving the string, go through some problems on leftmost derivation and rightmost derivation. So basically, the given question is derive the string ABB from leftmost derivation and rightmost derivation from the given CFG productions. Fine. So they gave some productions. So using them, we need to form ABB. So ABB is our goal. Okay. So I'll be doing the leftmost derivation here and rightmost derivation on the other side. Rightmost derivation. So initially the chance will be starting with S. S tends to AB. So here you can write for LM leftmost. Like that you need to write for all. It's your wish. Even you write or not write, it's okay. So the, we need ABB, right? So initially A is available in this. So we'll be changing it with A, B, B. So B can be replaced by SB. So S tends to this B will be replacing. A, S, B. And this will be the B. So this S will be replacing with Epsilon. Epsilon means empty. So B. Again now we will be replacing the leftmost B with SB. Now the only thing is left is S. So replace it with Epsilon. So ABB. We reach it to the string. So while writing this you can just write in brackets what rule you are using. So that the evaluator will be having a 100% clear idea on what you are doing. Fine. And please don't do not draw arrows like this because I have just drawn for your understanding. We are using this. We divided it. We used this. We divided this. We updated this. It's gone. We updated this. We updated this. It's gone. Like that. Got it? So now let us try for rightmost. So rightmost means from right side I should start. Okay. So S tends to AB. So now first I need to divide this B. That is nothing but SB then a b then i will be dividing a s a b b now b s s b b now s s a b b so please try to write the steps guys as i am just writing it fastly so i am just skipping the production rules which i am using when you are writing an exam please write the production rules in bracket fine okay so now let us continue to the next question which is a bit big question when compared to this but the process is 100% same guys. There is no change in the process. So it's really easy and simple. So derive the string double A, double B, A, B, B, A from the leftmost derivation and rightmost derivation. The given context free grammar. Okay. So CFG they have given. So our goal is to leftmost, rightmost, right? Okay. So let us concentrate. For these kind of multiple option problems, you need to constant concentrate guys. So leftmost derivation right most derivation fine okay so we need a a b b a b b a fine okay so initially we will be starting with s and our first symbol that we need is a so we need to compulsory take a b fine so now we need to replace b so we need two a's in the initial so one a is already done please try to cancel them on the rough sheet guys so that you will be having a clear idea s tends to a now let us take this production because we need one a a b b so that is that a is also done so now let us take consider b so after b we need one more b and after that we need a right yes so that's the reason please think a while before taking anything so now let us directly convert this b into b and we will be converting this b as bs and after that we'll be continuing again in the cycle process a a this b convert it into small b and after that let the capital b b and a a b in the place of b use bs now in the place of s replace it with we are done with this b this b a b okay so now we need to further continue right so that's the reason why do not take directly b we need b b a is left so take bs again so B S. So S tends to A A B B. Okay, sorry for that. A A B B A B instead of S. We need one more B A, right? Okay, just give me a second. A A is done. B B is done. A is done. B is done. So we need we need just B A. So just to replace B A. Capital A. S tends to A A B B A B B A. So we got the final result. So this is nothing but our leftmost derivation so now let us do the rightmost derivation so in the rightmost derivation you will be considering the right so anyway you should consider this only right 
so a a b b so now you will be considering this b so while you are considering that b you will be checking from the ending please remember that b b a b b a so at the end you need a so what is the possibility that you can get a at the end so please think twice before you take anything guys okay so let us take this thing guys because b s a a b b s okay so s a a b sorry this b should be b okay b s in place of s take b a from here so s tends to a a capital b b b in place of a place a so now we are done with these three things and the first a so s tends to in middle you need a b b a so a a in place of b place b s so this b will be done fine okay so again b b a so in place of s replace b a again b b a now this b is done in place of a place a small a b b a so now we got the result so this okay sorry i didn't notice that guys so this is the result that we need so we got the result in both rightmost and leftmost so i hope everyone got a small idea on this so in the next tutorial we will be going through the derivation trees or parse tree we have just gone through derivation so even we can derive the same strings using trees guys like this so we'll be going through them in the next tutorial so let us meet in the next tutorial thank you thanks for watching